Saying all that, the next player that I'm going to be watching is Cyrus Jones, Patriots yeah. cornerback. Uh, he continued to have some struggles out in the rain as a punt returner. He was dropping some some uh, some balls out there, got beat by Dan Danny Amendola on about a 25-30 yard pass from, I believe it was Tom Brady out there. Not a great first session in front, of the, in front of the media. Like I said, though, they've had about six or seven OTAs at this point, so maybe that was his worst practice of the entire spring. We're going to see a completely different player during these next three mini camp sessions plus the OTA after that. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. But if he does continue to struggle like he did during that one OTA, then I think that we are talking about this guy potentially not making the roster because there is a lot of competition there at cornerback uh, with Jonathan Jones, Justin Coleman, the three undrafted free agents, DJ Killings, Dwayne Thomas, and Kenny Moore. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he was a late second round pick. We've discussed this kind of ad nauseum at this point. You know, he should make the roster, and it would basically have to be disastrous for him not to. But his rookie campaign was pretty disastrous, and that first OTA session that we saw wasn't much better. Yeah, no, I would agree. I think he's got the, the most to prove here in, in this, um, this, whole, this whole spring and summer, really, all the way going up to, uh, to final cuts in, in late August, or early September, whatever yeah. that is. I think he's still going to be given the opportunity to prove that he should be on this team. I mean, I guess everybody technically is, but I think the Patriots are going to give him just because of the fact that he was such a high draft pick, comparatively speaking, compared to their other draft picks that year. I think he's going to be given the opportunity, but right now he's got an uphill climb because as we saw in the, uh, in the first OTA session, Jonathan Jones was in there with that first defense as the, uh, as the third cornerback. Who knows if it's going to stay that way? I think Eric Rowe probably... If I had to rank all the uh, all the cornerbacks in this team, Eric Rowe would be third above Jonathan Jones and Cyrus Jones and, J and Justin Coleman and all them. But with what Jonathan Jones brings to the team right now, both on special teams and on defense, he kind of might, he seems to have sort of bumped Cyrus Jones out of that spot. 